morning for those of you who don't know my name is Maya Karen I run a fashion blog called classically kept it does feature luxury contemporary and how to style and now natural hair care so if you were into any of those things please consider subscribing to my channel click the notification bell that way you will never miss a video so you can see that I'm sitting in a room that you guys are very familiar with this I guess you could say couch is typically where we do our hair talks, but I am actually sitting on a couch that belongs in our sunroom. This is the sitting room. Construction is still going on, and right now at this time of the day is where I was able to get the best lighting, okay? So today we are going to talk about a fashion top, or I guess you could say a fashion trend that has kind of emerged, which I am very excited about. Let's talk about quiet luxury, old money aesthetic, and I guess you could say luxury bags are no longer. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first let's kind of talk talk about what I mean when I say quiet luxury or old money aesthetic. I would probably say that quiet luxury is more so of a newer term and I will put some pictures up right here. But when we were talking about quiet luxury or when we were talking first, when we were talking about old money aesthetic, think very streamlined, very classic, no logos, very elegant, very chic, very classic. If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. Think Reese, think cost, Club Monaco, um, getting up there, you can start talking about Laura Piana. And then going up even further than that, talking about Oprah money, you have Brunello Cusinelli. That, you can walk into that store and spend $1,200 on a shirt, okay? So that's what we're talking about. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I will give you the perfect example. Do you guys remember Lindsay Lohan in Parent Trap when we all thought that she was a twin? Her mother would be the epitome or she would be the definition of old money. The way that she dressed, what she did, how she spoke, her butler, her house the decorations, just everything about her was the old money aesthetic. And I think now more so when you're talking about your younger people or when you're bringing it, I guess you could say when it comes to trends, it's now being labeled as quiet luxury. So first let's kind of talk about some reasons why I think quiet luxury is now trending. Okay, so first I do want to mention a show that has kind of brought this trend to the forefront and it is going to be Succession. I started seeing this pop up on my feed, not necessarily for the show, but because of the fashion. The family are some type of billionaires. I've never watched the show, but the family is like said to be billionaires, but it's been popping up on my feed because of the things that they are wearing. I remember I was watching a video or a, thumb, a thumbnail popped up on my screen and it was one video where that this person had on like a cap, like a regular ball cap, like a New York Yankee cap. It, was, it didn't have any logos on it. It was plain and it was black. That was apparently $1,500 and then like the actual, I guess you could say, I don't know if they were like the hunt, I don't know if, because they were like um, headphones. I don't know if they were just hunting headphones or if he was just wearing them. Those were like $500. But I'm saying that this particular sitcom uh, succession is bringing it to the forefront because the family is we is wearing very understated pieces. There are no logos on it, but the stuff costs a lot of money. Okay. So let's get into the reasons as to why I think, or some of the reasons why people are saying that quiet luxury or the old money aesthetic is coming back or it is trending. Number one, we all know that we are in a recession. We're getting ready to go into one. We might be in the midst of one and people think that it's going to get worse. People are very cautious or people are becoming very cautious and more aware of what they are spending their money on. So typically when people are going into a recession, people will start to assess what they are spending their money on and they will see where they can actually, I guess you could say, lower that cost. One of the things that you will start to see when a recession comes is people's, I guess you could say, leisure or disposable income, whether that be for going out, whether that be for happy hour, whether that be for hair. A lot of women kind of like forego hair. A lot of women will start spending maybe less or not going out as much when it comes to shopping. Since we are in a recession, people are thinking about what it is that they are spending their money on and they want to be more conscious of that, okay? And for the most for the average person, luxuries or things that they have disposable income is going to fall by the wayside. Clothes, hair, bags, shoes, okay? That's the first thing is where we are economically. The second thing is people want, because of the first reason, people want their clothing to last longer, which brings me to the next one, which is going to be logos. So these two are probably more so interchangeable. People want their clothes to last longer. They want to be able to wear it for three summers, three winters, three falls, okay? 
logos. You guys know that I am not a very logo heavy person. Most of the clothing that I have, you don't know where it's from, whether it be from J. Crew. You are never going to see me wearing a sweater that has J. Crew emblazoned on it. You are never going to see me walking downtown Charlotte just out and about with, I guess you could say, a midi length sweater Fendi dress that has the Zuka print on it. When I wear my clothing, like the dress that I have on now, this dress although it does have puff sleeves and it does have some draping, this dress will still be relevant and beautiful five years from now, okay? So people are wanting their clothing to last longer, okay? The fourth reason which I'm going to have a very unpopular opinion and maybe an insensitive opinion about this one, but people are thinking that because we are in a recession and where we are with times and money and just the economics, people are starting to say that they feel, I guess you could say bad, or they think it's very insensitive or in bad taste to be wearing their luxury, especially when it comes to logo unpopular opinion not saying that I don't care but when I buy something I'm going to wear it it's not to show off because I have something that somebody else does not have it's because I bought it I love it and I need to get my cost per wear of course there is a time and place for everything if I am going to go volunteer at a homeless shelter or if I am to volunteer to build houses for a homeless shelter I am not going to show up decked out right I'm not going to show up in my Chanel dad sandals along with my Fendi, uh, my Fendi shorts and then maybe like just a tank top and then my, I guess you could say Prada backpack and then my Chanel earrings. I'm not going to do that, but at the same time, I am still going to wear the clothes in my closet. I have heard many people, or I guess you could say, while well, I've been doing the research for this video, they say that it's kind of in bad taste to wear your luxury clothing, especially with the logos. The fifth reason is going to be relatability. Um, some people have said that they have stopped, I guess you could say, buying luxury bags, and we will get into that for a second because it's not very relatable. We all know the fashion girls that are buying every single bag that comes out. For a lot of people, that is very, that is not relatable, that is not attainable. For me, it's more so just because a bag is trendy, I'm not necessarily going to buy it. You guys know on this channel, I research and I stock things before I even think about purchasing it. It, okay um, I do not live in an area where I'm able to get to a lot of these boutiques so I do have to stock them online and I do have to like watch videos of people doing mod shots but for me just because a bag is in does not mean that I am going to wear it or purchase it I know that when it comes to quiet luxury people are bringing up the bag band bag brand Pauline. I have been on that website and I have found the bags to be very beautiful. None have fit my aesthetic yet, but I love the color and I love the craftsmanship of those bags, okay? So when we're talking about relatability, people want to be able to relate to people, I guess, or to the content that they are watching, all right? The next one is going to be, which this really should have been number one, but this one is going to be quality. We all know what company, what brand, what fashion house I'm getting ready to to bring up that is going to be chanel for the past couple of years and really ever since the pandemic really since i guess you could say the panorama chanel has been increasing their product they have been increasing their price and they have been decreasing the quality you can hop on instagram youtube TikTok, twitter and they are probably like just hate websites as far as the decline of chanel quality the decline of quality and then just the raising of prices and really all around i'm not just speaking about chanel but whenever you start talking about astronomical prices and terrible quality Quality, the first brand that you're more than likely going to hear about is going to be Chanel. I know people have been talking about the LV canvas recently, but it is not the same. Um, I can give you a prime example. YSL came out with a shoulder bag. For me personally, I physically went into the store to try this on and what they are charging to me personally is not what the bag was worth. Just after carrying it around the store for just a little bit of time, that bag should not be the price in that it is. But just quality all together and really not even in the luxury space as well. I know a lot of people for the past several years have been complaining about the TP sweater from J. Crew. They have also been complaining about their classic ballet flat. Used to be made in Italy, it used to be all leather. It is here made in the US or probably China and it is now not all leather, okay? But the price has either been stagnant or depending on, I guess you could say what it's made out of or the color, it has risen, okay? So people are, again, going back 
to the very first, going back to the very first reason, reason, which is the recession. And people are much more cautious about spending their money and what they're spending their money on. And the last point that I want to bring up is that even though people might be watching the fashion girls, you know, they might still be watching the unboxings and things like that. Women are starting to, or just people in general, consumers are starting to buy what they love, okay? This particular person or just somebody in general might watch their favorite YouTuber do an unboxing. Doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to run out and buy that bag. People are buying what they love because again, going back to the very first comment or going back to the very first reason, people are having to be a little bit more cautious of what they are spending their money on. They're not running out to buy the newest bag. They're probably saving up, doing their research. They might go in to try it on. They might watch several videos and then make a decision, okay? People are being much more cautious about their money and what they are spending their money on. Okay, so quickly I will give you an example of, I guess you would say, what quiet luxury or old money aesthetic is, and then I will get into my thoughts, okay? So this bag, I bought this in 2017. Let's see if it will focus. Okay, so this bag right here is from Dior. This is the Dior Ever bag, and it is the small size. The reason why I'm stating that this is quite luxury or is old money is because of the silhouette. It has a very, not basic, but it has a very classic silhouette. It is a top handle right here, and then here is the back, and then it does have feet. The only way that someone would know that this is a Dior bag is because they love the company and they just love Dior, really. Now, if you get a little bit closer, you can see right here, which I'll open it and show you, what you can see right here is like that classic Dior print. I love this bag because it is classic and it does give like that old money vibe. The reason why I'm saying I'll show you what I'm talking about is because this is actually hot stamped right here with the flap. Now, typically I would wear, and this is magnetic, Typically, I would wear it like this just because it was easier to get in and out of. And you can see the Christian Dior right here. But for someone who wanted to be, I guess you could say, a little bit more inconspicuous or incognito, they would just have the flap right here. And then if you didn't know, you didn't know. And then if you knew, you knew. I actually wish Dior would put this back into production. If they did a mini size, I would buy it in a second, okay? But this would be a very prime example of what old money and quiet luxury is, okay? Now... Let me refocus. Now, my thoughts. Personally, I think it is a trend and I will give you three categories. So I think it is a trend because fashion girls are a fashion girls, okay? If you hop on YouTube now, you will see a whole bunch of the fashion girls talking about luxury is over, luxury bags are over, I'm no longer buying it, I'm selling it. In the next five years, when Beyonce steps out of her apartment, downtown New York in the Fendi, you know, the new Fendi Zuka print bodysuit, the next thing you know is going to be sold out and the fashion girls will be wearing logos again. So I think for a majority of women, I think the old aesthetic look or the quiet luxury look is very much a trend, okay? That is the first one. The second one is going to be the women who have always dressed like that. No, I am not shopping at Bruno with Oprah. I will one day, but I kind of feel as though that that's the, I guess you could say, realm that I'm in. My clothes are very classic, very streamlined, and very chic and very elegant, okay? As you guys heard me say earlier, this dress, although it does have some ruching and it does have a puff sleeve, five years from now, this dress will still be gorgeous. I will still be able to go to brunch in this and still be on trend, but also be classic, I guess you could say quiet luxury at the same time and then the third category is going to be i think this is going to be a group of women or a group of people maybe because of covid maybe because of the panorama maybe they realize or maybe they've gotten a little bit older and they want to go for something new you know they've come into some money you know they're established in their career you know they've had a big promotion and now they can afford the you know i guess you could say quiet money or quiet luxury look i think those are going to be the three categories as i said i think it is very much a trend for most people People who have hopped on this trend but old money aesthetic quiet luxury will always be around it's just that right now very much it is a trend okay my next thought is I think for the people who think that it's insensitive as I said before this may be a very unpopular opinion I still love watch watching unboxings because it gives me a sense especially since I am not around a lot of these boutiques we have a Burberry, we have, we used to have an Hermes, we do not have that anymore. We have Gucci, we have Burberry, we have Cartier, we have Tiffany's, and then we also have Louis Vuitton. 
I don't really shop at any of those stores. I'm more of, oh, we, and we do have a YSL. And I think we're getting an Alexander McQueen as well. Love them. But I don't have access to just really drive to a mall to get to them, to actually physically try them on. So when I'm looking at someone doing the unboxing, you know, doing the close up, showing me whether or not it's smooth or pebble, pebbled leather, giving me your height requirements, giving me your weight and you styling with a video, that very much helps me out. I don't think it's insensitive for me, for someone who works hard. And I'm fully aware that there are people who are above me and people who are below me. I don't see a problem with a woman wearing what she has bought. I don't see a man wearing what they have bought. As I said before, when I gave the inst when I gave the example of, you know, going to do charity work, then that might be a situation, or then that might be, people might kind of look at you funny. There's a time and place for everything, but as far as just in my everyday life, feeling insensitive about it, I do not, because I'm also not the person to flaunt it. If you compliment me on a bag i will say thank you and i will keep it moving i'm not going to when you know when i when i first meet someone and when someone asks me what i'm wearing it's not you know hi how are you do you like my calvin klein you know do you like my gucci oh you like that it's hermes i don't do stuff like that if you know you know you don't you don't and lastly do i think luxury or purchasing luxury is over i do not um it's, it's, it's luxury. It just, it, it is what it is. Someone is always going to want something nice. I don't think purchasing luxury bags in particular is over. I think the direction might be a little bit. I think the direction might change as opposed to buying a Fendi peekaboo with the Zuka, Fendi peekaboo, a Fendi baguette with the Zuka print all over it. Someone might go for just like maybe like a regular classic black and then they might choose silver hardware. They might choose gold hardware. I think as far as luxury is concerned, I think for right now, because it is on trend and if you actually if you actually watch if you actually watch certain shows or if you actually like hop on Vogue with their app they have all of the shows on there you will notice that a lot of brands especially the older ones have started going into that quiet luxury so i don't think it is over i don't think buying luxury will ever be over i just think that right now it's going to be a transition into more things or into no logos things that are not in your face if you don't know you don't know i will give you another example bottega veneta you guys know that i bought that black circle skirt for my birthday there is no triangle which is their logo there is no triangle anywhere on that skirt there is not like a bottega veneta or a bv like emblazoned on it it's not like it's not like running down the side of the skirt the only way you would know is that if you are a bottega veneta lover i actually found it by way of moto operandi or so let me know your thoughts in the comments i just want to remind you that here on youtube i do upload videos every wednesday and sunday and of course you know right here i put my instagram handle thank you so much for hanging out with me you guys Bye.